I'd like to read everybody a story. It's a story about Father Christmas and a Christmas present. And it reminds me that I must try really hard not to forget about anybody. So here goes. Harvey Slumfenberger's Christmas present. It was Christmas Eve. Father Christmas and the reindeer were home at last. They were very tired because they had been delivering presents to children all over the world. They had something to eat, then Father Christmas put the reindeer to bed. One of the reindeer said it did not feel very well. Perhaps it had nibbled something that it should not have along the way. Father Christmas thought that all it needed was a good night's sleep. Finally, Father Christmas was able to go to bed. He put on his pyjamas and was just climbing into bed when he saw something that made him gasp. At the end of his bed lay his sack. Father Christmas could see the shape of one present still inside it. Father Christmas pulled the present out of the sack. The present was Harvey Slumfenberger's. Father Christmas knew all about Harvey Slumfenberger. He knew that Harvey Slumfenberger only ever got one present, and that was the present which Father Christmas brought him. He knew that Harvey Slumfenberger lived in a hut at the top of the Roly-Poly Mountain, which was far, far away. Now Father Christmas was very tired. The reindeer were asleep, and one of them was not very well. But Father Christmas knew that he had to get the present to Harvey Slumfenberger. Father Christmas put on his coat over his pyjamas. He put on his boots and hat, picked up the sack with Harvey Slumfenberger's present in it and started to walk through the cold winter night to the hut where Harvey Slumfenberger lived at the top of the Roly-Poly Mountain, which was far, far away. Father Christmas had not gone very far when he met a lady with an aeroplane. Excuse me, he said. My name is Father Christmas. I still have one present left in my sack, which is for Harvey Slumfenberger, the little boy who lives in a hut at the top of the Roly-Poly Mountain, which is far, far away. Get in my plane, said the lady, and I will take you as far as I can. The aeroplane took off and flew through the night sky, towards the Roly-Poly Mountain. Heavy snow began to fall. I'm so sorry, Father Christmas, said the lady. I cannot fly my aeroplane any further in this snow. The plane bumped and skidded across the ground and finally came to a halt. But if you go to the garage that lies over the hill, there is a boy with a motorbike. Perhaps he can help you. Father Christmas went to the garage and met the boy with the motorbike. Excuse me, he said. My name is Father Christmas. I still have one present left in my sack, which is for Harvey Slumfenberger, the little boy who lives in a hut at the top of the Roly-Poly Mountain, which is far, far away. We'll go on my motorbike, said the boy. I will take you as far as I can. The motorbike roared off along the road towards the Roly-Poly Mountain. But they had not gone very far before the motorbike slid on some ice and they both fell off. I am so sorry, Father Christmas, said the boy. The front of my bike is all twisted and I can take you no further. But if you go across the valley and into the woods, there is a girl who has skis. Perhaps she can help you. Father Christmas went across the valley and into the woods where he found the girl with skis. Excuse me, he said. My name is Father Christmas. I still have one present left in my sack, which is for Harvey Slumfenberger, the little boy who lives in a hut at the top of the Roly-Poly Mountain, which is far, far away. Stand on the back of my skis, said the girl, and I will take you as far as I can towards the Roly-Poly Mountain. They had not gone very far when the skis broke and they both tumbled into the snow. I am so sorry, Father Christmas, said the girl. My skis are broken and I can take you no further. But if you go on up the slope and down into the plain, you will be near the bottom of the Roly-Poly Mountain, where there is a climber with a rope. Perhaps she can help you. Father Christmas went up the slope and down onto the plain where he found the climber with the rope. 
Excuse me, he said. My name is Father Christmas. I still have one present left in my sack, which is for Harvey Slumfenberger, the little boy who lives in a hut at the top of the roly-poly mountain, which is far, far away. Hold on to my rope, said the climber, and I will take you as far as I can up the roly-poly mountain. They had not climbed very far when the rope broke, and Father Christmas very nearly fell off the roly-poly mountain. I am so sorry, Father Christmas, said the climber. My rope is broken, and I cannot climb any higher. But if you carry on up that cliff and over those boulders, you will see a little hut at the top. And that is the hut where Harvey Slumfenberger lives. Father Christmas carried on up the cliff and over the boulders and finally arrived at the hut where Harvey Slumfenberger lived. Father Christmas climbed onto the roof and down the chimney. And he put the present at the end of Harvey Slumfenberger's bed. Then Father Christmas set off on the long, long journey home. Finally, he got back. Father Christmas checked that the reindeer were all right and tucked up in bed. And as the sun began to rise on Christmas morning, Father Christmas climbed into bed and was soon fast asleep. In the hut, at the top of the roly-poly mountain, which is far, far away, a little boy whose name was Harvey Slumfenberger looked at the end of his bed and saw his present. I wonder what was in it. Happy Advent time, everybody. Bye.